Well, let's take a look at our top story this hour. In a major step toward further strengthening India's ties with Bangladesh, India's Foreign Secretary Harshvardhan Shingla called on Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina in Dakar on Tuesday. The Foreign Secretary had begun a two-day visit on Tuesday to discuss and take forward cooperation on matters of mutual interest. The Indian Foreign Secretary, according to sources, conveyed a special message from Prime Minister Narendra Modi to his Bangladeshi counterpart. Today, the Foreign Secretary met his Bangladesh counterpart in Dhaka. Bilateral areas of interest identified during the meeting were development partnership, enhancing connectivity, the revival of economic post-COVID, and uh, cooperation on COVID assistance, including on therapeutics and vaccine. A proposal for travel bubble for business and medical travel was also discussed during the meeting. Bangladesh has also raised the issue of the Rohingya currently staying in Bangladesh and the issue of their possible safe repatriation back to Myanmar. The visit comes at a time when China has been trying to increase its economic influence in Bangladesh and with recent investment of $1 billion in Teesta River project, China has only strengthened its hold in the South Asian country. Indian Foreign Secretary's sudden visit to Bangladesh therefore sends out a clear message that India wants to further strengthen its relationship with Bangladesh. In fact, India's Foreign Secretary's meeting with Sheikh Hasina was extremely significant given the fact that Bangladesh's Prime Minister, amid the COVID pandemic, has reportedly not met anyone from abroad and very few in the country in the past few months. Our reporting for We On, journalist Lakmina Jasmine is with us live from Dakar for more. Good evening to you and welcome. Thanks for being with us. Uh, firstly, what were the issues taken up by uh, the Indian Foreign Secretary during his meeting in Bangladesh with Prime Minister Asina? I think it has been a very significant visit by Indian Foreign Secretary Sring Love when some buzzes are going on uh, in diplomatic circles that Bangladesh uh, is leaning towards uh, China or China is trying to expand its uh, uh, footprint uh, corridor or activism in Bangladesh. However, Foreign Secretary Sringla uh, handed over a very special message of uh, Prime Minister Modi to uh, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina that uh, Bangladesh India have deeper relation and uh, India will continue to be a development partner of uh, Bangladesh. They have also discussed uh, on Rohingya issues and uh, both uh, uh, led uh, emphasis on safe, secure and sustainable repatriation of Rohingyas. Right. And uh, did the two discuss the COVID situation in both of the countries? We know uh, that this was on the agenda. Foreign Secretary Sringla also assured Bangladesh that Bangladesh will get priority of getting COVID-19 vaccine that is being developed in Oxford University. So now these two countries are planning to hold the next FM level meeting in virtual format as soon as possible. Nakmina, thank you very much for that report. Now moving on to our next story, an execution-style killing of Hayat Balach, a 25-year-old student of Turbat in southern Balochistan, has ignited protests as far as Karachi and Quetta in Pakistan. The 25-year-old was reportedly shot dead by Pakistani Frontier Corps in broad daylight. He was a final year student of BSc Psych Physiology at Karachi University. As per reports, Balach was harvesting dates on a farm with his father, Mazar Mohammed on the morning of the 13th of August and passing convoy of Pakistani security forces pulled over nearby after hitting an IED. Now, Balaj's farm was located adjacent to the road where the blast took place. Troops of the paramilitary Frontier Corps then forced entry to the farm and began harassing Hayat Balaj. They accused him of having played a role in the blast. His father had said that he saw Pakistani Frontier Corpsmen tie him up and walk him to the other side of the farm. Security forces then pushed him down on the ground and one of the soldiers fired at least eight to 10 shots at him. Security personnel left him there while Balach's parents wept by the side of his remains. He was pronounced dead upon being brought to a nearby hospital.
Pakistani paramilitary at first tried to pass it off by saying Baloch was killed in crossfire with militants claims which stood in contest with several eyewitnesses' uh, testimonies. At least five to six personnel were seen thrashing and kicking him. Now, prompted by the FIR filed by the victim's family, the Turabat police launched a probe into the incident. Even the Frontier Corps found that the accused personnel reacted in haste. The accused was then handed over to the police for further investigation into the 25-year-old student's killing. As per reports, demonstrations and vigils are taking place in Pakistan's Quetta. And hundreds of people are taking part in demonstrations demanding for justice for Hayat Balaj. Protesters, mainly Balaj and Pashtun students, were seen carrying posters, placards and portraits of the victim. And calls of resistance against the hegemony of the Pakistani state and its armed forces are ringing louder. Demonstrations are taking place as far as Karachi. Where the killing of Hayat Baraj is uh, being referred to as a violation of human rights. The Baraj Republican Party has also condemned the killing of the 25 year old student. It said that the killing was a part of the Pakistani security forces' broader mission to eliminate, eradicate, uh, to eliminate educated youth in Balochistan.